Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Market Pulse. I am Ajit Mahali, the founder and mentor at Elpad. Let's take a look at what the indices have been doing and are likely to do. So as expected, Nifty had a, a good fall. Uh, it's quite steep, the fall. And that is one of the worrying things uh, is that it has uh, fallen for six continuous days. So you've got to be cautious about this and uh, not get overly bearish because the way it has come down, the way it can go up and it is already at the place from where it had hit a very, uh, uh, where it had hit a new high. So be cautious about shorts. If you are, uh, are in shorts, uh, you need to trail your stop loss or start booking your profits uh and see uh for con wait for confirmations to get into any long positions uh on the monthly this is the monthly candle it's just the first week and we are back uh, to the uh low of last month uh, so that shows how fast we have fallen uh in this last six days uh the demand zone still uh is here on the monthly chart there is no change in the monthly demand zone nor the monthly trend monthly trend is still intact to the upside that's the monthly demand zone uh this is uh, a far-fetched thing maybe a war could push it down here or maybe something else we don't know uh, but it's it's quite far so if you take a look at it from the current market price uh, this is going to be close to uh, 11 percent and the amount of fall that we have had so far uh, is around six percent from the highest we have fallen six percent and uh, if you take a look at this trend uh, in, in a single um, month candle or in a week candle six month fall is pretty uh, pretty much high uh, so you'll have to wait and watch uh, and see what happens no supply zone on the monthly. Uh, on the weekly, we are very close to this uh, weekly EMA. That's an area of demand zone. On the weekly chart, from where we had got new high low, we have punched a new low. Uh, we are still very, very low on the curve now. It has been a vertical fall. Uh, one full week has uh, taken off nearly three weeks of candle uh, that shows uh, the kind of uh, selling we had and this week has also started negative uh, uh, it needs to be seen uh, how this week pans out if we break this then the next levels are going to be here or it could turn from here provided there is something good in the smaller time frame now if we turn from this area uh, the path of least resistance could be at least up to 25, 800, 25, 700. So good reward to risk on the long side. But with uh, the momentum being so strong towards the downside, it is uh, a confirmation wait and watch. So once we get some confirmation that the trend is shifting, with here it is pretty uh, uh, strong and down. That's when you can look at uh, getting into any long trades or maybe start with some uh, spreads so once we form a bottom or give confirmation that's the next daily supply zone that's number one that's number two and now this is going to be our range uh, for nifty right from let's say 24 500 to 25 700 that's a 200 point range we are in these uh, base candles it, it is possible that it may come down a little bit maybe decoy it and then move up uh, sooner that happens, uh, faster it will move up. Uh, but there is a good chance that we could even consolidate here before we move out or move down. So cautious approach towards it. Uh, those who had shorted anywhere here, uh, it's a good uh, uh, move down that you have got. Other than that, the next areas of demand zone uh, will be somewhere here. That is 24,200 on the daily so these are the two demand zones and this is the main demand zone. So the market the daily demand zone it's like this so that's the daily demand zone which we have hit and this is a very important demand zone if you see because we moved up took off this high came back and again went up now we are back uh, at that area of demand zone so uh, a bounce is likely whether the bounce goes up to this or gives a new high only time will tell. On the smaller time frames today, you might have experienced high volatility uh, like we had on Friday. 
uh, intraday volatility. Then, in fact, bank Nifty there was a nice thousand point move. So there are two levels here which I'm combining together. That's uh, the demand zone. And if let's say we gap down here tomorrow, that could be. Uh, and if it gets bought bought into and you move up, that could be the first initial signs of confirmation that now probably we are moving up. It's a vertical fall. Remember the move. Any good news or let's say the war stops or there's the P stocks, you could see Nifty rebounding because all the heavyweights are sitting in good areas of demand zone. Uh, though they might move a little bit further down in those demand zones, but uh, eventually they might uh, end up turning. So cautious approach, uh, uh, wait for long opportunities uh, on confirmation, uh, nothing to stop it at least in 25,500. There is no great supply that has got created. The, the, the main supply is here, which has been with the program, that's 26,000. And if we manage to take this supply, then we could even make a new high. You never know markets have been behaving like this. So remember this fall and then consolidation, we could see some consolidation and then it moves up. All right, a quick look at Inavix. So now Indiavix, as expected, since Nifty came down, Indiavix has moved down. It has come uh, uh, to the areas of 15. So today, last three days, it has been continuously moving up. That's the area of uh, uh, supply on the daily chart. So we could still move up a little bit up to 16. Uh, so that could be the last uh, possibly downfall in uh, Nifty before it starts uh, basing. A look at Bank Nifty. Now, Bank Nifty had a very rough day today compared to Nifty. Uh, strong fall on the monthly, but still the trend is intact. Uh, that's the main area of demand zone on the monthly chart, uh, which is still far about 1,500 points. But from these highs of 54,400, uh, we have come down to 50,183. So that's more than 3,000 points that we have given up. Uh, the trend is still intact on the monthly chart. On the weekly, that's where we are right now. So if you see this, that's the area of demand zone. On the weekly, we came down, went up, and again we came down. There is no breach of any supply zone. So, part of least resistance for bank nifty is to the upside. This has a better structure uh, and a possible move as compared to nifty because there is uh, no demand zone breach. <clears throat> but again, nifty also on the weekly does not have any demand zone breach. So, bank nifty moves weak, uh, nifty will also eventually move but the pace at which if bank nifty moves faster and other sectors don't move then nifty might move slower but bank nifty could move pretty fast so the range on the weekly for bank nifty is only from it's a 10 percent range uh, from 49.700 to 54.400 uh quite a big range So on the daily chart again, uh, still supply is here. Here, in fact, there is no supply. It gapped down and started coming here. That's the main supply uh, on the daily chart. Uh, and this is the main demand zone. So we have two demand zones. So that's the first main demand zone, which was created uh, post elections on the daily chart. And now here also we have this area of demand zone which has been created of that and from here is where we started the move up came back here went up gave a new high moved down for the fee resistance is to the upside up to so around 2600 points possibility in uh bank nifty as well uh, as if it starts moving up let's take a quick look at uh, small reference so very very Volatile markets, uh, uh, intraday uh, levels. So that was the main supply zone from where we broke. We went up and uh, that's the main part. So, so if at all, Bank Nifty moves down, it has some more room uh, to get the main meat of that area of demand zone, but you never know. We could still start moving up uh, and targets are going to be at least uh, 50 to 800 and then 
this will be on the about the gap. So good reward to risk once we uh, uh, hit a bottom, uh, which is likely let's say about fifty thousand. So right now, just uh, be patient. If you are in shorts, this is going to be a good area to cover most of the shorts, or then at least trail them, uh, and then uh, wait for confirmations to move up. So uh, cautious uh, approach now. Uh, if you are in shorts, uh, you look at booking profits and trailing them to ride the move down. And for longs, you still have to wait, but you could get some good longs in the stocks. You might not get it in the index, but you could still get it in the stocks, which is uh, worth looking at in the uh, main indices. Well, I hope that helps.